Love me some Fidelity Balance Fund. Just got off the horn with a guy, real nice guy. I, uh, the stories, I, I love this job because the stories you hear from people are just, uh, from the uh, the people, you know, just uh, just addicts who uh, have been sober for 20 years, you know what I'm talking about. Um, not just addicts to uh, alcohol, but you know, drugs in a real bad place, and they've uh, they've got the call. Somehow, some way, they're able to uh, to recover, recoup themselves, and uh, and drive on in the God's grace. It's just amazing, which is exactly what my I want my book to be about because I was like, I just. Uh, to be graceful, great, grateful for God's love. And it's just, it's just kind of funny. And I'll get the fidelity balance here in just a second. But you know, a lot of people think, oh, well, I don't know. I can't say that. I can imagine a lot of people think, oh, God doesn't love me because I've, I've done so many bad things. I'm down and out. I'm an addict. You know, I'm at the rock bottom. You know, I've done this. I've done that. And I just think that's, I think God says, and I can't prove this, but God says, no, when you're your weakest is when I, not when I love you the most, but when you're the weakest is I love you. I hate to say more than anything, but I am loving you even when you're the weakest, when you've turned from me, when you're an addict, when you're doing this. You just got to listen. You got to open up your ears and hear. And and I don't know how it works with God. I just I just don't know. But, you know, you hear about these addicts who've lost so many people. Um, and then they escape it. And you're just only but for the grace of good Lord. Does that mean the other people are not with God? No, I don't know how that works. I don't know, but I just know it's like, man, mm. let's say a quick prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, we just pray for those addicts out there who are just suffering, tormented, an addict to anything, drugs, alcohol, pornography, gambling, but who are just tormented. They know they're they're. They know they're hurting themselves, but they can't stop. We just pray, Lord, pray in Jesus' name that they can hear your words. Send the Holy Spirit to their soul. Pierce their soul with the love that you have. Let them awake tomorrow with a new day, a new awakening, because, man, life is good. It's tough. It's, it's not easy for an addict either, but it's it's still good. And let us just pray pray in Jesus name. Amen. All right. Uh, sorry about the emotional stuff there. I just, uh, it breaks your heart. I hear all these people just, just empty. Yeah. All right. So anyway, <laughs> wow. I didn't mean to get off of that tangent. Yeah. I'm not going to delete this video. Um, all right. So my man had uh fidelity managing his money and stuff and he was down 20%. I said, ooh, that's, that's a pretty significant hit um, with, with, you know, the money managers. And uh, he says, what do you think? I said, look, I can't tell you what to do. I don't manage money, but I like Fidelity Balance Fund. He goes, oh, yeah. I said, yeah, let's look at it. So let's look at Fidelity Balance Fund, shall we? Um, and, yeah, you know, it's up to him to do what he wants to do. But we're going to put up, we're going to, we're going to select, use my man Dan Kubelbert's website, uh, 55e.co. Uh, we're going to do Fidelity Balance. First, we're going to see what the return looks. So five-star rating of Morningstar. I did a blog post. Uh, I don't really write blogs anymore, but uh, four years, five years ago, why Morningstar ratings are actually valuable. A lot of people say, no, they're not. Yes, they are, 100%. Uh, five-star rating of Morningstar, which which is a valuable thing. Worst year was 31% in 2008. That was pretty bad. 29 years up, five years down. That's it right there, 2008. Um and that 2008, will that happen again? I doubt it, but it could. We don't know. But anyway, so let's just look. I want to show you something. Here's 2008. So the stock market, the S&P 500, was down 37% in 2008. Fidelity balance was down 31%. So it took on the chin. Wellington was down 23%, by the way. Oh, by the way, the Fidelity balance fund is uh, pretty much the, the Fidelity version of the Wellington fund from Vanguard. But what I want to show you is in 2001 and two, the S&P 500 is down 9 12, 22% respectively. What is Fidelity? It's up, up, down 8.5. That's nothing, man. I mean, look at this. The down markets here with uh, freaking less than half a base, less than 50 basis points in 1990. 1994, they're raising. The Fed was raising down five, less than 5.5. Five 
1999, they're raising, Fed's raising, is up 8.86. 2002 is down 8.5. Then the big one right there. And then uh, down 4% in uh, 2018. I'm not sure what it is year to date. Don't really care that much. But anyway, it's, it's a freaking solid fund across the board. What's the expense ratio on this guy? It's, uh, I'm not sure. I think it's 55 basis points or something like that. I thought Year to date, it's down 5%. Wow. And I don't know if that's true. I, I, Yahoo, I can never tell. But uh, let me just see it. I think the expense ratio is 55 basis points. Uh, right there. 52. All right. So it's, it's not very expensive fun to own. All right. So I'm a fan. So what I want to do now is I want to use this. What if you did $5,000 adjusted for inflation started in 1988? Where would you be sitting at today? You never ran out of money. You still got 1.8 million in your account. I mean, you just can't beat that. All right, so let's start in 1990 when it's down one half of one percent. Five percent, five thousand, one five percent a year adjusted for inflation. You're at 1.12. I mean, you just again, you can't beat that. So let's start in 2000. Um, better, a better caution. Can you beat that? Yes. I, I got to be. So don't take me so literal. Can you beat that? Yes. So here we are. We started in 2000 to 5,000 a year adjusted for inflation. We haven't run out of money yet. We still got 293. And we're, I mean, we're, our last year, the, so what was 5,000 in 19 and 2000 is now 8,000 withdrawal right now. It's just a simple, man. I mean, look at this. We still got 300,000 bucks, 23 years into retirement. We are good to go. So let's start in 2002 when the, uh, when the market got just and look even here 2002 so we're year 20 we're 20 years in retirement with our first year we're down 31 uh, percent we still got 360,000 in our portfolio it's just tough to beat man just tough to beat so i kind of compare fidelity i don't know if i can compare to uh wellington let's see i'm not sure it'll make me do a bucket i think it might maybe do a bucket yeah So look, so here's um, 2002, Wellington was down 6.9, 2008, Wellington was down. So Wellington was less downside than upside on Fidelity, um, but then up, more upside, more upside, yeah, it's pretty even Steven. Looks like Fidelity has had a little bit more rate of return, but a little bit more downside risk too. Pretty even, Stephen. Let's not take any money out. Just gonna gauge. Let's see here. Um, and I like both funds. You can't. I can't say you can't go wrong, but I doubt you go wrong in both. Um, I guess it's not showing me. Anyway, so I, I'm I'm a big fan. Anyway, the point being is Fidelity. This guy already has money at at Fidelity. I, you know what you can do? I want to. Hmm. This is fun comparison. I haven't used this before. I, I frankly don't care. So he, this guy's already got his money at, at Fidelity. So I'm like, yeah, just use it, man. No big deal. Yeah, I'm not sure how to do this one here. Um, Dan can uh, have to revisit that. But I just like Fidelity Balance Fund. It's a good port. Let's see what the portfolio composition is here. F Pablo likes Fidelity Balance Fund too. So we're going to go to uh, uh, Holdings. 70% uh, stocks. Uh, twenty-three percent in bonds, five percent cash. Yeah. So, and then uh, some others probably preferreds or something like that. Um, real estate, not much, but financial services, so value, consumer cyclical value, healthcare. Yeah, still a little bit more aggressive. Fidelity got twenty-three percent of their stocks exposure to tech, so definitely a little bit more aggressive than Fidelity, but. Uh, um, looks like middle of the road. So whereas Fidelity, uh, Vanguard, Wellington is definitely large cap value. This is probably going to be more mid, you know, large cap, you know, mid in terms of uh, being on both sides. Uh, definitely probably a little bit more value oriented than, than growth. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit more aggressive. I'm okay with that. And the bonds they have in here are, uh, do we see, did I just see the bond right here? Uh, triple B as investment grade. I can't remember if double B is investment grade or not, but still look, 55% in government bonds, 12.5% 12, 12 in A bonds, 
25% in triple B bonds, all investment grade. I can't remember BB is investment grade, is below investment grade. I just don't remember. But not junk bonds. Ah, it's just a good fund, man. Anyway, something to think about. That's a set it and forget it fund from Fidelity. I, you should look into it. Should you buy off of me? No, but something to think about. I'd right, love your thoughts. We'll see you.